What is the JLPT and why do you need to take it? JLPT stands for Japanese Language Proficiency Test and is the most widely recognized Japanese language test in the world. There are five levels, N5 being the easiest and only requiring hiragana, katakana, and some basic kanji. It goes up to N1, the hardest level, with some Japanese that even native speakers may not be able to understand. The test can be taken all over the world, but it only happens twice a year in July and December. Registration opens and closes three to four months prior, so start planning early. Do you need to take the JLPT? Well, it depends. For studying in Japan, depending on your nationality and the quarter you start, you may need N5 or N4 certification, but in most cases, certification is not required to study. If you'd like to know whether or not you need the JLPT, inquire with Gaijin Pot Study, and we'd be happy to help you. If you're applying for a job, though, that requires Japanese, in most cases, N3 is considered proof of being conversational, whereas N2 is proof of business-level Japanese, whatever that means. N1 can be a bonus or potentially needed if you're applying for a mainly Japanese using job. Depending on the company, they may or may not ask for JLPT certification, so make sure to check their requirements first. As for the test itself, it only tests you on vocabulary, grammar, and listening. There is no speaking or writing portion. Questions are all multiple choice and the listening portion uses recordings. You're not gonna need to listen to an actual person talking, luckily. The calculations that determine whether or not you pass are frankly way too complicated to explain here, but you don't need anywhere near a perfect score to pass. In fact, on the N1, you only need around 55% of your answers to be correct to pass. It's that easy. Test results come around two months after the test, so if you need your results for a school or job application, plan accordingly, plan ahead. And that's the gist of the JLPT. For more information on studying in Japan, check out the Gaijinpot study page.